Best 5 Tools for Bug Bounty in 2022 Bug Bounty is a program maintained by several companies that pay cybersecurity researchers for flaws found in their applications. These failures reported by the researchers are evaluated according to the level of criticality for the business, and then a financial reward is paid to the researcher. Entering this bug bounty universe requires a lot of curiosity and fundamental knowledge of hacking and cybersecurity techniques. Now let's look, 5 Best Tools for Bug Bounty. The first tool is Burp Suite. You can't talk about bug bounty without mentioning the Burp Suite which is a fantastic tool for request handling, mapping and initial analysis of an attack surface, password cracking, and vulnerability analysis, among other functions. The top spot on the list of security tools for bug bounty hunters belongs to Burp Suite, and for good reason. Burp Suite is an integrated web application security testing platform that gives hunters everything they need to get the job done. It allows you to scan anything you want, from a full crawl to a single URL, and covers over 100 generic vulnerabilities. Burp Suite also supports several types of additional and nested insertion points. The second tool is Sublister. Subdomain discovery is very essential for information gathering during penetration testing on web applications. There are lots of tools available for it. We need to use them and find our subdomains because it is possible to find subdomains with some valuable information or some bugs which may lead our penetration testing or bug hunting process. Sublister is a Python tool designed to enumerate subdomains of websites using OSINT. It helps penetration testers and bug bounty hunters collect and gather subdomains for the domain they are targeting. Sublister enumerates subdomains using many search engines such as Google, Yahoo, Bing, Beidou, and Ask. Sublister also enumerates subdomains using Netcraft, VirusTotal, ThreatCrowd, DNS Dumpster, and Reverse DNS. Subbrute is integrated with Sublister to increase the possibility of finding more subdomains using brute force technology with an improved password list. The third tool for bug bounty is WFuzz. WFuzz is written in Python. WFuzz is a tool that will help bug bounty hunters brute force web applications. WFuzz is useful for sniffing out resources that are not linked such as directories and scripts, post and get parameter checking for multiple kinds of injections, form parameter checking, fuzzing and other uses. Features that users will find attractive include Default output is in HTML capability to check multiple injection points, brute forcing for all parameters, automatic, artificial request time delays, results can be hidden via word numbers, return code, line numbers and rejects. The fourth tool for bug bounty is Wapiti. Wapiti is a command line application tool that allows bug bounty hunters to audit the security of websites and web applications. Operationally, Wapiti crawls web applications with black box scans and looks for points where it can inject code. When Wapiti finds a list of forms, form inputs and URLs, it acts like a fuzzer by injecting payloads to check for script vulnerability. Some notable features include Server-side request forgery Reflected in permanent XSS injection Shell Shock includes a buster module that allows for bruteforcing file names and directories on a target web server. Host HTTP and get attack methods are supported. The scan process includes an option to set maximum scan time. The last tool is Google Dorks. Google Dorks is a solid go-to to use when searching for hidden data and access pages on websites. This tool relies in part on the part of the website indexing power of Google, and this volume of data is useful for bug bounty hunters. Google Dorks also does a good job with network mapping and can assist in finding subdomains. Above are the top 5 best bug bounty tools for hacker there are many bug bounty tools, so feel free to share other tools on the comment. If you face any problems, please discuss them with us in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Thank you for spending time with us today. See you tomorrow.